Premier Comrade Mielenkov, Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Vurons. The primary agent was this Vuron, Cryptosporidium-137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, comrade, is that Vurons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium-138 into the White House. <gasps> and the American people are not noticing? <laughs> no, no, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, they must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a youth cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Savages. Degenerates! There's only one way to deal with such men. What in the... Revolution! Uh-oh. That can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's bigger. Copy of my exquisite mind. 
into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Thy languid Furon god, and stab my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Ark Voodle. My waning joie de vivre is rekindled. Landing zone activated. No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia! So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. It appears the saucer took a hit. 
or twelve on the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, oh, man. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. <laughs> I've spotted a weapon data core near your position. I'll snap it up on your radar. Understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. The Shopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orenchov. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. The idealists. They spit on them! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs>
Jeez, Pox, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Main City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. Then I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find our little hippie friend, the freak. Excellent. I shall continue my repairs on the saucer. And then, I don't know, order a virtual pizza or something. Brains, I hate this. I've never made it with an alien. Wait a minute. If you ask me, everyone down to the park is a freak. I hear there's a guy called the Freak down at the park who can get me what I want. Stare. If you ask me, everyone down to the park is a freak. I wonder where the freak went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Well, what I need is information. 
What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater, which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is Cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah. So he's catnip to Las Gadas, eh, amigo? For sure! All the chicks really dig him the most. Up to them, Coyote Bongwater'd be running that commune like a king, which he practically anyway okay you piqued my interest where do I find coyote bong water well from what I hear he's kind of paranoid he doesn't hang out at the park for long I heard he's got a pad someplace but I don't know where what I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bongwater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. building on Hashbury Street? What am I waiting for? Mama's working up a powerful thirst! Mmm, Revelade! Mmm, Bong Water! Hashbury Street, here I come! Water guy thinks he can buy my loyalty by handing out free samples of his homebrewed mind-altering substance on Ashbury Street. Then he's right. It's all about the buzz, man. Don't tread on me. Oh, tough guy, eh? setting fire to a perfectly good guitar like that. It's positively wasteful.
adventure! It lasts longer! Coyote Bongwater's handing out Rebel Aid at the apartment building on Hashbury Street? What am I waiting for? Mama's working up a powerful thirst! Street, here I come! Hey, hey, I'm a monkey! By the long face. What? No visitors. Coyote bong water is in meditating. Very deep. I just want to bask in his presence. I won't make a peek. You heard me. Go drink refreshing revelry. Cease you movement immediately. But it's an emergency. My Rajas is pressing on my sattva. My Masi is screwing with my Mathuna, and my Kundalini energy is just... And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. So eat a good breakfast. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Yes again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Join us! We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Pacifists, what a crop. Swatch! Try to be shooting here! Bad shoot, man! Bad trick! Just be breathing, man! Oh, <laughs> Come back here, punk!
We got him! 10-4! All units stand down! I got candy! Police headquarters, Officer Johnson. Do you deliver? Yes, but there's a $2 surcharge. Wait, what? Thank God I'm part of an irreversible worldwide student-led anarchist revolution. So long, U.S. government! How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. Hey, freak. You ever been to Capital City? Yes, I mean, no. What would I be doing in a town full of squares and eh, politicians? And I ain't never been to Nam, neither. Here's the thing. I found Bongwater, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were gonna get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow, he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man. It's what's on the inside. Gas. He's gonna gas the whole city with reveling. Wow. That's so wild, it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this, Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Revelade, didn't you hear me? Easy, man, mellow out. 
What am I doing talking to this creep? Fox, we got a situation here. Bungwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work. Luckily, I've detected more data calls from the mothership nearby, containing repair parts you can use to get the saucer up and flying. Once you're in the air, you can blow up blimps to your heart's content. Gotcha. I'll snatch up those repair pods and swing back to the saucer. Oh, yeah. It's payback time. Take it! 
I can see the whole base from here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Right on! Time to boogie!
Thank <laughs> you. 